Hey everybody, this is Shelly of Shelly's Crafty Life and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a DIY home decor piece. This is a very neutral home decor piece and I'll probably just call it that because this is something you can use in your home all year round. And I actually found this at Michael's and it's some new pieces that they had just put out and it's called their Market line alphabet soup wall decor and so this just reminds me of a smaller palette that's been distressed and i think this would be fun you could uh, do a stencil or hand letter a message on this and then if you wanted to you could paint over it and change it but i actually found some stuff that i am going to add to this and then this will be on my mantle so i found this 10 letter b for our last name bailey and then this is actually a magnet but I'm not going to use it as a magnet and it's just this really pretty copper colored flower. I love that it had the burlap piece in the middle and it's that same line metal flower magnet. And then I actually found this mason jar topper that already had the knob on top. And this is also part of that market line and it's just called lid. And then I found this like keyhole resin type piece that's a cream colored and distressed. So I'm actually going to get my glue gun out and start putting this together and I'll show you how it comes together. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to add is the letter B and instead of trying to hot glue these thin edges, it actually has a place for a nail hole and so I just ran to the garage and grabbed a nail and the hammer and I am just going to hammer the nail in and hang it from the pallet this way. So let me do that and I'll come right back. Okay, so I have my B on there. I'll move it so you can see it. And then the next piece is the mason jar lid and the keyhole. And I actually don't care about the keyhole part. I just really like the look of this layered. I just thought it was really pretty and I want it to sit right here in the middle, kind of the middle slat. Almost look like, kind of like a doorknob. I don't know. I just like the look of it. So I'm actually going to hot glue these two together and then I will hot glue it onto the palette. is the magnet and I am just going to glue this down here in the corner. Okay, here is the completed DIY neutral home decor piece. I'll show it to you up close and then I'll back up and show you my winter mantle. So there is the bee that's just hanging on a nail. And then there is the mason jar topper that is hot glued onto that resin keyhole piece. And then there is our flower. So I just love how versatile this piece is. I could leave this up all year long. I can change up the banners that I have stringing across it. I can move it around my home. I could stencil uh, home sweet home, live, love, laugh, anything you wanted. 
I just love this. And if you don't like the neutral look, you could still buy the palette and repaint it yourself. Just very versatile. Home decor does not have to be expensive or hard. This was very easy to put together and did not take me long at all. So let me step back and give you a wider view of my winter mantle. So I'll just go into everything really quick if you want to know about all the products. These are just embroidery hoops that I wrapped with yarn. And then I've just got the faux candles on the candle rings that I can turn on in the evening. And then these are some little storage books that I bought at Hobby Lobby years ago that I just decoupaged with tissue paper. And I believe the tissue paper might be from Maya Road or Seven Gypsies, I can't remember. And then this is just an owl. Actually holds a tea light, but I don't put a tea light candle in it. And this is the faux window that my husband made for me that I keep on the mantle all year round and decorate. The piece behind it is actually a picket fence. You can get that at Michael's. It's, it's just in the unfinished wood section and I just stained it. And then this is a DIY pom-pom banner. I made that last year when I made the uh, DIY pom-pom wreath that's hanging on my front door currently. And then our new home decor piece. And then I just have a couple of other faux flickering candles. These come on in the evening on a timer. And this is a chicken wire basket. I got that online, I think from steels.com, and then I just have it filled with some filler pieces. This was some of that leftover yarn from the pom-pom wreath. I just wrapped a styrofoam ball. And then a ceramic owl that probably came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I love to decorate in the wintertime with owls. And then at the bottom, this is my faux wood gate fireplace cover that Andy made for me. My red lanterns. I bought those at Hobby Lobby years ago. They were like a gray color and I just spray painted them red. I've got some candles in there that come on in the evening and then I've just filled, it, filled in with pine cones for the winter. And then I have another pom-pom wreath or pom-pom banner going across the top. And then I've added in this red ladder. I found this at an antique store. This actually usually sits in my craft room, but I moved it in here for a little more pop of red. And then this is just a wreath that I made a couple of years ago. It's wrapped in canvas. And then this is actually old pattern sewing patterns. And then there's some buttons in the middle. And that's it. That is my DIY neutral home decor piece on my winter mantle. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing this DIY piece and my winter mantle. I hope you'll subscribe for future videos. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.